Hi friends, welcome back to Shelby in the Book Club. In today's video, I wanted to go over a genre that I don't really hear spoken about much, but that I love, and that is historical fantasy. I have read a lot of historical fiction, and the ones that I love the most always have a bit of magical realism in them, or it's like a historical fiction that... Um, has like a magical element to it so someone has magical powers there's some sort of magical system maybe there are a little bit of dragons maybe somebody can time travel so on and so forth so i wanted to give you guys some recommendations because i asked y'all if y'all knew of any historical fantasy um particularly by black authors and or authors of color and no one had an answer so i thought well let me give them some examples and maybe that will help y'all guide me in what I am looking for um so without further ado here we go before we get started make sure you like comment and subscribe we are growing our family here I feel like before the end of this year I could at least have like 4,000 subscribers so help me out like comment subscribe share um widen our family <laughs> <laughs> okay, for real this time, if you would like to hear it, here it go. Okay, so the first two books, I one of them I don't know where they where it is. Next, the other one is in a pile behind me, but I'm just not gonna pull it out because it will tumble that stack of books that is right there. <laughs> Lazy, right? Um, so the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of historical fantasy is Kindred by Octavia Butler. I know a lot of y'all saw my video that I hated the show, but the book is phenomenal. It touches on so many different aspects of slavery, of racism, um, while also throwing in time travel in a way that I just felt was so freaking cool. And it made me realize that the fantasy that I do love has some sort of historical aspect to it <laughs> um and I think I love that book so much because of the historical aspect to it but the time travel part was so cool because she was constantly getting this shock to the system so in Kindred the main character is a black woman that happens to time travel it happens all of a sudden on her I believe it's her 26th birthday um she time travels back to the antebellum south and she like meets her ancestors and it's all of this really really cool stuff that the show does not do justice that is really cool to me um next the water dancer by ta coates the main character in that he like can also kind of time travel see the future sees memories very very vividly um and I loved how it is weaved into his story. Um, if you have not read The Water Dancer by Tiny Heasy Coats, you should absolutely do that. Um, let's see. Next on the list of things that I have read, and then I'm going to go into some that I plan to read. So the Lovecraft Country series. The Destroyers of Worlds is the most recent one, and I absolutely loved it. I owe you guys a full review of this um because when it came out I had like planned more in my mind but I was sick at the time so if you haven't read the first book you should you should also read this I think though Lovecraft Country I guess technically The Water Dancer was my first kind of introduction to historical fantasy without me realizing it um but I would say the Lovecraft Country series is another was like where I was kind of conscious of like, oh, I like this mix of magic, power, otherworldly creatures in with um, the historical aspect of it. So in the first Lovecraft Country, it talks a lot about the Tulsa Race Massacre, but there is a um, Atticus, one of the main characters, he finds out that he is like a part of this long line of basically witches and warlocks and 
all of this stuff that he like never knew about his mama and it kind of ties in with the Tulsa race massacre and the second one Atticus and his dad are um trying to mark the centennial of their one of their ancestors escaped from slavery um and we still have more magic we have more space travel we have um this like connection to the ancestors that just is so freaking cool to me this book was amazing um and it had some like really good quotes in it too um I did a lot of highlighting in this um and it is something that I will probably read again it kind of made me want to go back and read Lovecraft Country again for the first time I think what I loved about this is that it is proof that um that white authors can write black characters that are not filled with trauma that are written well that are not an insult to our people um which I thought was really cool and I really thoroughly enjoyed um next is another I'm showing you the second book in another series um that I that I enjoyed so this is the um a murder and magic series by Nicole Glover the first book is the conductors and this is the second one, The Undertakers. It is about a black couple that were that are helping the Underground Railroad, basically. Um, and in both books, they solve different crimes, which I thought was really cool. Their magic system is based off of like constellations that they can draw, which I thought was really cool. And in each book, each chapter um, has a different picture of a different constellation. Um, which I thought was really cool. I think my only, like, I'm trying to remember, was this considered YA or not? It kind of reads a bit like YA to me. Um, in the sense that I wanted more information about the magic system. Like, I wanted a more structured explanation for the magic system in those books. Um, but it did tie back to slavery and how, um some slaves had to wear these collars so that they weren't able to do their magic and things like that like some people got like, it seemed like everybody got their magic differently some people were born with it others learned it um and there was all types of magic so there were like hints to hoodoo in in this like it was giving like the black harry potter for real um and i would have loved to see more of this like it just was so good like the magic the the them going to different towns and you know having to hide their magic and so on and so forth that was that was really cool to me both of these series I think you guys should read and purchase now two books that are new um well three I will say two of them recently came out one of them um someone told me is technically um historical fantasy but I'm not sure so the first two that I'm going to start with I know for sure are historical fantasy so that is Lone Women by Victor Laval this is the book club pick for the month of April it is about a woman who has some sort of power but she is in the um she is in California and she is um making her way to Montana as a homesteader I feel like there are not a lot of books out that actually talk about black homesteaders and about the like them moving to get to the land um there is a book called Blackbirds in the Sky that is about the Tulsa Race Massacre um that talks about um Tulsa, Oklahoma, and that particular Homesteader Act that caused people to migrate to what I like to call the middle country, um, like the flatlands in the middle of our country that I feel like only like two people really live out there. And I know that's not accurate thinking, but sorry, love y'all. Um, cause without y'all, we wouldn't have potatoes. <laughs> Next, I have the adventures of Amina Al um, Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty. This one is about Amina, who is a pirate. Um, 
this is historical fantasy I can't wait to read this because it just seems like it's going to be so good and the pages and the books are decorated. I love that so much. Um, but I've heard really good things about this. These are two that are on my TBR for April that I plan to read and we'll do reviews for you guys. Well, obviously that will be the, the vlog for the um, book club pick. Now this one I read that it was um, historical fantasy um because i believe the main character has some powers um so it says bessa is cursed at birth and exiled on suspicion of being a witch that's all we need to know really um i've wanted to read this one for a while so i'm gonna try to get to it in april um because i've heard really good things about it and someone that i follow on tiktok who why can i never remember her name jesus be a fence jesus be a good memory um she raves about that book and she and i read a lot of the same things so i'm i'm excited for that so those are my historical fantasy books um i hope that has helped you if you guys want me to do another video like this for a different genre please let me know um because it'll help us all kind of venture outside of our comfort zones and read things or look for things that are a little bit different so that I can recommend different things to you guys. Leave your historical fantasy um, recommendations. I don't know why I just drew a blank there. Leave those recommendations in the comments. And also tell me what other genres that you, maybe you're afraid to venture into um, that maybe I might read and I can help you, um, you know, find some things in that genre. Um, without further ado, I love you. If no one told you today, you are kind, you are smart, you are important. Bye, friends.